Yeah. I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm at the Old Schoolhouse Studios in Barnesville Village. I'm joined by Jamie Wolf, Jackie Rees, Richard Neal, three of my favorite artists. I've known you all for quite some time now when I first came into this position. So it's really exciting for me to be here and talk to you and uh, talk about the work today. Uh, you're a contemporary artist, not that there's anything wrong with landscapes and hydrangeas, but I don't really think you'll see any of those elements here. And that's a little bit about what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> we're also going to talk about the Six of One, which is a show at the Museum of Art. And so I also feel fortunate that we're here in the studio so we can kind of see where it began, how the three of you got together, what this space is about, how your work's evolved, and then who else is in the show? And then I'm excited that we'll actually be at the museum and talk a little bit about the work there. So you let's let's begin. Should I just pick? Mm -hmm. Kind of like uh, the well, dating game. Well, Jamie. Well, Jackie, <laughs> Jackie and Richard and I knew each other um, years ago. Uh, but when this building came up as a potential studio, um, we jumped at it. It was, it's, it was such a perfect format for us, a venue for us to get together and sort of reinforce each other's ideas of moving ahead, pushing through whatever uh, confinements we had been dealing with, and uh, sort of lending our own energy to each other to uh, push, to develop, to paint more, to draw more, uh, to think more about what we were doing here. Um, mm -hmm. you, you were right on top of that the whole time. J Richard has always been somebody who says, we've got to work harder, you know? This is why we're here, is to work harder. So um, this is what happened. You it know? is this what is, happened. And yeah. I also think being contemporary artists, and um, which, tell me about that, and contemporary artists on the Cape, because there seems to be, you, you're more non-traditional for this area. Yeah, well, uh, people like us sort of have to find each other because, you know, we're not sort of fitting in so well with everything else that's going on exactly. So, like, who are these people that are like me? It took a long time to find these people. And uh, mm -hmm. here's a couple of them, and we found a whole bunch more in this building. So it's been... It's been great that way. And I think, as Jamie said, and, and, and we'll talk more in a little bit about the show itself and the, the other three artists involved, so we have half of, of the six, but just that by getting together and talking about each other's work and critiquing each other's work, that pushes the boundaries that much more. Yeah, I think it, when we get together and talk about our work, um, we're motivated to, it sort of raises the bar for each of us as individual artists in our pursuits um, with what we're what we're achieving in our work and um, when we talk about our ideas and, sh and share our work with each other we all kind of push each other um, to either clarify our ideas or talk about them out loud and um, just by sharing them in a group it's kind of like testing it for ourselves you know the first time you're kind of sharing something before you put it out in the public maybe um, it's just been a really good group for us to uh, bounce ideas off each other and Talk about contemporary art in the bigger world. That's not it's just here on Cape Cod. It's definitely different working with, in a group like this because your day-to-day -day progress is sort of examined or seen a lot more quickly than if you're working by yourself in your own studio. Yeah. And there are pros and cons to that, but I would say on the whole, it's, it's definitely a lot of pros to that. When yeah, you're yeah. working by yourself, you know, you, <laughs> you might have <clears throat> this purity of vision of your own that is wonderful, but... It's, it's also kind of limiting, so seeing, seeing what other people are do and what they have to respond to your work as it's, as it's being made is, is a real benefit. Mm -hmm. And then the work itself, what we, we have three artists here, the six of one, where everyone has somewhat of a different approach to their work. What, what's that common thread? Oh, I think it's the same thread. I think it's the idea that we have all tried so many different things. And now, at a, a sort of a, a, whatever you, you want to call this phase of our career, we're sort of pushing into uh, a direction that is, is new for all of us, and uh, uh, not tried and true necessarily. That, that we sort of look at each other and expect each other to be as experimental as possible. I mean, I I have painted so many still lifes. I have painted so many landscapes so many seascapes living here on Cape Cod. The fact that I'm not doing that right now is, is really interesting because there's all of this reinforcement from Jackie, Richard, Andre, Sarah, the whole group of us 
to not go backwards. We're not competing with each other. Well, every now and then, when Jackie's gone, I, I look through her stuff, and, you know, steal a little bit of ideas for collage and things. But um, we're not competing, but we are sort of uh, on each other's case to, to not repeat ourselves, to try to sort of move ahead. Um, Joe will come in and uh, turn his back to my work and tell me what colors I'm using because he's, he's, he's always accusing me of repeating myself with the palette, you know. So again, that's sort of positive reinforcement. If, if he can tell what my colors are before I can, then it's time to work on new sure. colors, sure. <laughs> you know. And so, each approach to your work is a little different than what you use. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Jackie, I know you pull. You're from a, a have so many sisters and daughters, mm -hmm. and pull from those family experiences and how you represent your work. What What yeah. else about your work, and where have you seen your work evolve? It's evolved a lot um, and very quickly in the five years that I've known these guys. Um, it's been a, been a, a constant experimenting with materials and um, drawing on your everyday experiences in your life. So I'm thinking about. Well, I can't help but bring into the studio everything that's going on in my personal life, which is, you know, family, a lot of family and daughters and raising children and the history of, you know, also being raised in a family of girls. So initially my work was, um, had a lot of representation of girls and women. Um, the big change for me has been the introduction of abstraction. And that's where I've been now exploding in a new direction of not thinking so much about illustrating uh, what my ideas are as opposed to letting them just um, come together through color and form and um, the way paint spills together and the processes that I use um, to make these reactions happen. So there may not, now I find that the work, it's still about the same thing, but it looks, it looks different. It's, um, it's, it has um, less obvious uh, storyline probably I'm thinking it does, and now it's more um, colors and shapes and depth and formal painting issues, which is uh, certainly inspired and pushed on by my, you know, studio mates and what I see going on in the art world, and just you know, keeping my eyes open about what's happening artistically. Yeah. No, and that's what I love, and it goes back again to all of you being together and how the work changes and the and the flows of that. Richard, how about you and and your work? Well, I think one of the one of the biggest changes for me has just been working in a in a much larger space along with other great artists. And the ceilings in here are like over ten feet high. We have huge, huge windows of natural light. I used to work in the basement. You know, the ceiling was like right here, and I'd kind of like slither around between things and <laughs> try to make some paintings. Sometimes big ones, but. This place encourages you to make larger paintings, which is, which is nice in itself. And um, my work has changed not just by getting larger, but just by having, um, having such a great studio with the materials where you want them and the, the things that you are really have always been sort of wanting to do are now at your, at your disposal to, to, make, to make art with. So that's been a huge change for me, just the space itself. Mm -hmm. And Jamie, why don't we talk a little bit about the other artists that are involved, you, your work, and then now the group of six before we head to the Museum of Art, which it's such a thrill to see all the work hanging there. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, I'm not sure exactly how they, well, I knew Joe. Andre and Sarah uh, uh, came in afterwards. Uh, Joe had hung out with us. We painted together in Ketuit, and he was sort of a natural fit with, with us. Um, Sarah came along and at a very, very mature phase of her abstract painting, in my opinion. She, she um, was very muscular, very uh, strong forms, strong colors. Um, Andre, I think we've sort of been pulling him along a little bit because Andre was doing some very conceptual, very small, interesting things. And now he's beginning to do larger, more free-flowing, more... Um, open-ended statements. Uh, so that somehow we all just evolved into a group that could critique each other. We'll, we'll go to each other's studio and maybe hang out for four or five hours in some cases because everyone gets a turn 
and sometimes it could go on really late, just talking about what we're trying to accomplish and then picking up the, the reactions from each other. The feedback is everything, you know. Um, uh, it's like Andre said, it's really, you can fool yourself, but it's really hard to fool the group, you know. And, and uh, so there's, there's something to be said for this uh, group of six who have an ability to communicate with each other. I would say is maybe the most important thing. And then we all have such diverse backgrounds too. We all come from you know, geographically different places around the world. Yeah. And, and um, so we bring our, our experiences with us and so it just makes it really, really interesting. We learn a lot from each other. We get a lot of ideas um, sharing what we've all been researching and what we all know, um, you know from our art history background. So it, it's, really, it's really exciting and it's very vibrant. And I always get so much out of our time together, just hearing, hearing what, what they have to say, what their reactions to my work are, what it triggers for them, like, oh, have you seen this? And did you check out that? So we talk a lot about more than just our work. We end up talking about the art world in general and other artists right, and who right. we're looking at. And, and so we, of course, come away with a lot of ideas that we steal from each other. <laughs> I love it. What's I would, that quote? Tell me that quote again, Oh, please. Picasso. I think he said, um, good artists borrow from other artists and great artists steal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, good. I, I like now have Picasso has sanctioned. If he said it, I have permission to steal. So, you great, know, great. steal away. Oh my goodness. I would love to be in the back of that room. Just it's just a living real classroom mm -hmm. to me. How yeah. what a thrill. I mean just it's it's exciting, gets me charged up on the art world just just hearing you talk about it. Well it's really important to have it and for all artists and we've being in the studio, we hear it a lot from other artists that come in and say, you know, oh, I, I wish I had a group like this, or because uh, it can be very isolating. Um, you know, oh, sure. Working in your own studio all we, by yourself. Yeah, I think we're just realizing more and more as time goes on that there's a lot more people like us out there. Yeah. And we may think that the Cape scene is all about landscapes, but it, I don't think it really is. Yeah. And I think that's shifting. Um, and so by having a little, you know, a place, a little home for us here, it's, it's like a magnet. We're just attracting all other like-minded thinkers or mm -hmm. similar-minded, and um, it's encouraging that dialogue. So it's very exciting to be, um, to be here in this space and to have found our, our group. And every, you know, there's a lot of groups out there that meet together and, um, you know, just share their ideas. Right. So it's all, it's a, it's it's all good. good and I think yeah. for our viewers and hopefully some of the artists will see this and be inspired by that and realize that they can make this happen as well.